In the bustling heart of India's technological advancements, the nation has been making significant strides in the defense sector under the banners of Make in India scheme. As the world pivots towards laser-based weapon systems, India, not to be left behind, places its trust in organizations like the Center for High Energy Systems and Sciences, CHESS, under the Defense Research and Development Organization. Located in the historic city of Hyderabad, Telangana, CHESS Labs, stands as a beacon of innovation. This defense lab is dedicated to research on high-energy laser systems. Their primary focus directed energy weapons DEW, that aim to revolutionize the defense technology of the nation. These systems, equipped with cutting-edge laser technology, can annihilate hostile targets. Whether it's a drone hovering in the sky, an enemy boat lurking in the waters, or a mortar ready to strike, once they come in contact with a high-energy laser, their fate is sealed. But what exactly are these? In layman's terms, direct energy weapon are potent devices capable of destroying targets by focusing high-energy beams or lasers. The applications of systems developed by chess labs are vast, neutralizing threats such as missiles, drones, and even optical devices. The innovations haven't gone unnoticed. Their creations have already been integrated into India's defense and security forces, and the organization has received orders for further production of DEW systems. DRDO has collaborated with Bharat Electronics Limited for the mass production of these defense systems. DRDO's commitment to this domain is unwavering. They have been working diligently over the past few years to develop weapon systems of up to 100 kilowatts of power for short, medium, and long ranges. These high-powered energy weapons can discreetly incapacitate enemy missiles or drones, leaving no trace behind. The global race for laser DEW is intense. Nations like Russia, France, Germany, the United Kingdom, Israel, and China are all in the fray, developing robust programs for laser-directed energy weapons. As these weapons become a force multiplier for various militaries, India is also making simultaneous efforts to stay abreast with the requirements of modern-day warfare. India's arsenal includes the Durga-2, directionally unrestricted ray gun array, a 100-kilowatt, lightweight directed energy system. This weapon system is set to be integrated with the Indian Army and other platforms on land, air, or water bodies. DRDO has several projects in progress related to directed energy weapons, including Kilo Ampere Linear Injector, Kali, Project Aditya, and Air Defense Dazzlers. Given India's unique security landscape, energy weapons are poised to play a pivotal role. Especially at a time when neighboring countries are also dabbling with such weaponry, DEW emerge as the weapons of the future. India is diligently working on both the hard kill and soft kill aspects of these weapon systems, ensuring India remains equipped to engage with any threats. These systems promise to provide India with strategic and operational superiority over its adversaries. The integration of energy weapons into India's defense systems can act as a significant deterrent against potential threats from neighboring countries like China and Pakistan. The mere possession of such advanced weaponry can discourage adversaries from taking aggressive actions, knowing that India has the capability to counter with precision and speed. As countries around the world race to develop and acquire advanced weaponry, India's investment in direct energy weapons ensures that it doesn't lag behind. By staying at the forefront of defense technology, India can effectively counter the threats posed by other nations' advancements. In conclusion, the integration of directed energy weapons into India's defense strategy is not just a matter of national security, but also a significant geopolitical maneuver. As India continues to grow as a global power, its investments in advanced defense technologies like DEW will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in shaping the geopolitical dynamics of the region and beyond. Thanks for watching.